right, so the first thing that we're going to do is take the cauliflower and cut these into pieces for roasting. Uh, you'll see that when you get into the underside of the whole head of cauliflower here, you can just kind of come off and get some of these individual pieces broken apart. We want to make them uniform in size so that they cook evenly. We're going to roast these over high heat and they will shrink, so you want to be mindful not to make them too small. So we'll season the cauliflower with olive oil. Generous amount here, because we're going to cook this at high heat and you want this to get nice and crispy around the edges. So that's about three or four tablespoons. Kosher salt. Black pepper. Lemon zest. And some fresh chopped sage. Okay, for our ingredients for the pan sauce, we have toasted almonds, capers. We've rinsed these capers from the brine that come in the jar so that they're a little bit less salty. These are the golden raisins that are soaked in white wine. And I've taken a little bit of that white wine and added some cornstarch to it. This is going to help give our finished sauce some body. We've got butter, of course, a little bit of lemon juice, and our chopped parsley. So we'll just lightly season these scallops with a little bit of kosher salt. Okay, here we have a hot saute pan. We're going to put in a thin layer of canola oil or vegetable oil. You do not want to use olive oil for this because we want to get this oil smoking hot. Alright, so the oil is heated up. Got a little bit of smoke coming off of there, that's what we're looking for. We're gonna place these scallops in one by one very carefully. And when you place them in the pan, you wanna get as close as you can and push it down and let it fall away from you so that you're not splashing hot oil toward you. The key when cooking scallops is to cook them about 70% of the way on the first side and then as you flip them over, they'll carry over the rest of the way. So at this point, the butter is starting to brown nicely. I'm going to turn off the heat, flip the scallops over, and let them carry over in that hot butter. At this point, we'll transfer the scallops over to a tray. And we'll place them into the oven just to keep warm while we make the pan sauce. Discard the thyme and the fat from the pan. We're going to add a little bit more butter and allow this to brown.
Get that nice toasty brown butter going there. We'll go in with the almonds. Capers. Let those kind of fry up a little bit. Now we've got our white wine and golden raisins. At this point, we want to scrape all those nice caramelized little bits off the bottom there. We've got the rest of our wine that's had the cornstarch added to it. See how that thickens up nicely. So that's nicely thickened. Finish the sauce with chopped parsley, a little squeeze of lemon juice. 